I'm Mr. McLaren. Today is Thursday, November 29th, 2018. Today we're going to look at my microwave again, and I think I finally found the problem with it. And uh, I've done several videos of it, and I think it's the magnetron that's gone on it. And for safety's sake, you always got to discharge your capacitor. And your capacitor's down here, and use some of these insulated ha handle pliers. And just check your capacitor. This has been unplugged for several couple weeks now so there's no power there. I'm gonna tell you an interesting story and my friend uh, used to work on televisions of the old the old ones the big big televisions and he was telling me his uh, nephew called him can you work on my television it's not working he said okay so he came over he had it on a kitchen table so he crawled underneath unplugged the television and he says I took the cover off and then I went to check the, the, the drain the, the power and he says, my, when they put my pliers towards it, it jumped. I said, wow, it's like I still got power on here. I know I unplugged it. So I looked underneath the table again, and lo and behold, it was plugged back in. And apparently his nephew's little boy was crawling around, seeing him, seeing his uncle unplug it. And he plugged it back in. So just be aware, you never know. Anyway, we're going to look at the microwave today. We've discharged it. And they disconnected here in the bottom. There's a connector here. Going to disconnect this. Take the microwave apart, the magnetron apart. Need a Phillips screwdriver, and there's actually five screws in holding this magnetron in. And there's uh, all Phillips, but one's got a different. The one's got a. I'll show you in a second here. Different thread on it. This is the the light that holds on the piece here. So that's a little bit different. So that's a kind of a threaded one or a self-tapping one. That light comes off. There's four screws in here. Now this magnetron on my particular model is an LG. This one's got five screws that hold this magnetron in. Now if you lose one of your screws, I'm going to put that on. If you lose one of your screws, check your magnetron so it's probably stuck in there. There's a big magnet in there. So there's four screws that hold the magnetron in on my particular model here. Nice to have a magnetic screwdriver. Now there's two more in here. It's a plastic piece I gotta get around here. I looked at several videos and I did a one on checking the magnetron, but there's one by one person commented on something about the magnetron that I think that may be my problem. We'll check it out with the multimeter too. So it just lifts up, you know, held on by these two little prongs here. So there's your magnetron here, and that's the model number on here. And we're going to check with the multimeter today. Here's my multimeter here. I'm going to check it, put it on ohms reading. It's on ohms here. And I'm just going to check this magnetron here. Now, so the test said to just check your two prongs here and you should get like 0.1 or as long as you don't get zeros. I'm getting 0.4 there. And if you can see that. And then you check it against the body of the just show open here. So that shows like a good magnetron. Now we're gonna check the new one. The new one I bought here. Here's the model number here. Here's the model number. They need the model number of the LG, and uh, a lot of those uh, model numbers on the front of the when you open up the door, the model numbers there. My particular model number is on the back of the unit, so if it's not on the front. Look on the back of the unit. Here's the new magnetron. Very expensive. I need to check this new magnetron with the multimeter here. Check the prongs here. Shows 0.4. And 
and to check it against the body. So this shows like the new, brand new, so it shows the same. So I'll put this at the one meter away here. Now, on the video, one of the persons said you check all the your magnetron on, but if this is as your actual magnetron has got a different brown color and there's not much silver on it, then you've got a problem. And mine shows brown, a little bit of silver here, but maybe that's a problem. We're going to check it today. Here's a new one. See plenty of silver on this one. We're going to put this one in and see. So it just hooks in. There's two hooks on here that'll hook back into the so it's in there. Put the screws back in. Four screws holding this, and then one self tapping screw to hold the light on. Have to connect the connector back into it. Now this is the screw, it's like a self-tapping screw here, a little different from the other ones. So your light goes back on, your light's inside here, Just back, put it back in here. Now that my old magnetron's got this plastic thing on top of it. I'm just going to take it off here, put it back in. Now the new magnetrons back up. Put this plastic back in there. There you go. Plug it back in. Let's plug back in. Now we're gonna pause the video and we're gonna see if it works. We just plugged the back weight back in and I just set the time here. Now, change the magnetron. I'm going to check some water here. Plug in for 30 seconds. And the thing I like about this microwave, if you hit easy on, that's 30 seconds. You don't have to press two buttons. Anyway, uh, I want to point out that the answer is out there somewhere in the YouTube or somewhere in your friends or some person knows. And uh, I think this is the problem that I've solved it now. I think this is the magnetron here. Somebody mentioned on their comments that the magnetron checks out with your multimeter, but if this end is discolored, and the mine is brown, and he says the magnetron may not be working. That is hot. So my microwave is not working, and it was the magnetron. So I'd like to thank all those people that, that put videos out there, and uh, if you're persistent enough, you'll find the problem. And if you keep uh, searching around, searching YouTube, it took a long time for me to find out. And it was one of those videos that the guy had maybe 
uh, maybe 50 hits or something or 50 views and somebody commented on when he did the when he did about the magnetron check the magnetron that's still not working if this end of the magnetron is not working so the answer is out there you just have to ask the right person or watch the right video and I thank all my new subscribers all my current subscribers thanks so much for subscribing to my channel if you watch this the first time today please subscribe to my channel thanks for taking the time to watch my video today have a great day